It's early spring on the Wolf River. Thousands of walleye have come up these backwaters to spawn. With this many fish gathered in one spot, this is a great time for DNR fisheries biologists to gather data on the fish and get a sense for the health of the fishery. But in order to get this information, we first need to get the fish out of the river to handle them. To do that, a low-level electric shock is applied to the water that stuns, but doesn't hurt the fish. You can see that the shock doesn't really affect them too much. We run really low amperage and voltage, as low as we possibly can, and still get them to go into narcosis for a couple seconds. Sometimes you get a fish that's right dead center in the field and it'll knock out for maybe 30 seconds. But most of the time you put them in here, they're ready to, they're swimming already by the time you get them to the tank. It's a, a pulsed DC current. The pulsed DC actually attracts the fish into the field before they're stunned. And then they're only stunned for a second or two at the very most so the guys can pick them up. And the fish will actually sense the boat is coming and they'll, they'll swim out in front of the boat. They'll swim away from us as well. Fish will be measured, tagged, and released. Some of the walleye will be weighed and aged as well. This is a fish that we've, re we've caught previously, so we'll get the number off here. 25-2. And this was a fish from two years ago. It's important that the data we gather is correct. So Ron and his team are conducting a study to verify that the techniques they're using for aging fish give them accurate numbers. To do that, They'll use the spines from the fish's dorsal fin and bones inside the ears of the fish called otoliths. And these are fish that we tagged when that, on our first spawning run, so they're like a 14 incher. And we can very accurately estimate their age from their length at that time. And we tag that fish when it's three or four years old, when it's up from its first run. We have, for all practical purposes, a known age fish. We can take the ear bones and the, we usually take the spine off the back count the rings on those things, the year marks, to see if they match up to how old the fish really is. But we didn't know if they were accurate or not. They also have uh, uh, otoliths in their head, which is part of their inner ear, which are typically a more accurate structure to take. So we're getting these known age fish, taking the otoliths and the spines from them, and seeing what, how many year marks we can count. And what we found out is that we were very significantly underestimating the age of the wally in our system using the spines. So we're literally rewriting the book on how to take an age sample of walleye in Wisconsin with the research that's being done out of our office. Tagging is done for the year, and the walleyes will return again next spring, and so will the DNR. There she goes.